cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 nigeria kwezu ono kwaja remember when i mention nigeria it means i want to inculcate all parts of the country in these salutations you know i wouldn't want to mention states name after uh, names one after the other so all the states in nigeria all the ethnic groups are all involved once nigeria is mentioned in this salutation so that's the reason you see me summarizing the salutation by saying nigeria okay hello friends families and loved ones i'm your regular host Mazi Bio, a full-fledged Igbo son and teacher of Igbo language, culture and traditions, including general issues that affect our lives and society. The lives of the Igbo and the lives of the non-Igbo. That's just the way it goes. All right. Um, let's move on. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Kindly go to mazibo.com to do so or mazibo whichever way you would like to pronounce it mazibo or mazibo.com then it's spelled as m-o-a-z-i-b-o.com m-o-a-z-i-b-o.com mazibo.com or maz, uh, mazibo.com all right by the time you do so you are trying to help a brother and friend you know we rise by lifting others if you're doing this, you actually want me to rise. And I will not ever forget you once I've risen. That's just the person I am. Okay, guys. Um, the other time we talked about selecting a king from Hamlet. You know, the Hamlets are asked to present a king. Though each Hamlet will now bring somebody who they trust, somebody who has affected their life positively in one way or the other. So each hamlet or clan will choose one person. Remember, these clans and hamlets form the community that wants to be autonomous. So that word autonomy is the only thing that will make a particular community to bring someone to be crowned king. So once a person has been chosen, once a person comes up after the ballot system and all that have been conducted, that means everybody, all the clans and hamlets, have accepted, accepted this is the person we want, then the person will be crowned king. So you get all the details there. And I remember I told you that somebody cannot be crowned king if the person is not male. It's only men that are crowned king. If you're not a man, you cannot be crowned king. And no matter how influential or rich you are as a woman, you cannot be crowned king in Igbo land. Rather, you can be crowned queen. Crowning a woman queen means that there's a king. When a king exists, it means there's a queen. Because the queen sits by the king because the queen is the wife of the king. Although there are some men, some kings who have more than one wife, but it's always one man, one wife. That's the way it is. And it will make the marriage very sweet. Because um, more than one wife uh, brings competition. I don't think there's any same man that needs competition in his life. So that's why Every man is expected or is supposed to have one wife, one man, one wife, irrespective of your profile or dignity. As a king, one wife is okay, but as it is, you can have more than one wife. That's what tradition says. Okay, now the items that are needed when a king is, <clears throat> is being crowned, excuse me. You see this one that I'm wearing here, the quality mbwaka. Then offer the staff of office. Then there's one they call Ukweze. That is the crown. Not this one I'm wearing here. Then the necklace. I think either it's called Nkalari or what. There's a name that is called in Igbo land. This particular necklace. There are so many of them that are worn by the king. So when the king is being crowned, the Nkalari, all these uh, necklaces are worn on him. 
and the person who is in charge to make sure that these necklaces are worn. In fact, the person who puts the necklaces on the king is known as Onou. Onou in English means the kingmaker. We have what we call Ezemo. Ezemo is the chief priest, but in, in the modern Igbo, um, there is death of Ezemo. So what we usually see or witness is Onou, that is the prime minister, minister wearing the kings, all the items he needs to wear that will differentiate him from a layman. So these uh, calories or these um, necklaces are one of those items that needs to be put on the king. These ones have to be worn by the king you know, around his neck. So the um, the know who has to ensure that these things are worn on the king, including the mbaka and the ofo have to be. The ofo is the one that is, I think is the final one. Yes, is the final item that is given to a king after the crown has been placed on his head. Because once the crown has been placed on the king's head, and the offer is given to him, means that he has got a hundred percent authority to say a word and it comes to pass in the land. So his word is his seal. So whatever the king says, stands. No matter who you are, you don't reverse it. So it's always expected for a king or that a king should think before he utters a word. Because whatever the king says, he does not reverse it. So the, whatever he says, whether good or bad, stands. So nobody reverses it in the modern Igbo land. Even back then, whatever he declares comes to pass. So now, I've told you the no, the prime minister is the one responsible to wear him the crown. The no will always be there until the king gets the throne, maybe he commits a suicide, sorry, he um, sleeps um, with an outcast, Osu, as uh, popularly called or known in Igbo land, O-S-U, Osu. So once uh, a, a reigning king does that, it's known and regarded in the whole of Igbo land as taboo. So once such taboo has been committed by the, um, the Eze, Eze is the popular name that a king is called e e z e eze that is what um the generally accepted name for king you might hear about igwe igwe is just a name some parts of um uh, igbo tri igbo land have given to their own king people like um you know places like uh, anambra you know and in short in anambra state many towns in anambra state address their king as as Iwe, while Eze is the direct or direct interpretation of the word king. So, um, remember, for someone to be a king, the person has to be an Ozo first. And remember, also it's a very high title, a very great title. Kingship or someone being a king is just ceremonial. Also, is most revered. No king toys with someone who holds the title of authorship. So, before one is crowned a king, he has to be made also. He has to get that title, that also title first, before he's qualified, irrespective of how old the person is. As long as he has been presented to be crowned king, he has to, first of all, undergo the rituals of being also and uh, remember i said whoever that has to be crowned king has to be full-fledged son of the soil not a settler or not a descendant of settlers it has to be full-blown son a full-fledged son son of the soil okay and the Igbo land son of the soil is called wafo wafo that's what the Igbo call son of the soil wafo is not an outcast. Outcasts are not crowned king. In any land where you have outcasts and freeborn, it's usually the freeborns that are crowned king, not the outcasts. The outcasts are usually so the subordinates. And so uh, that's just it. Um, I just pray they will remove this uh, 
I'll cast off a thing so that everybody will be one in Abel land. So that's just the way it's done. Understand. So remember I told you um, someone who commits a suicide has lost, I mean, someone who, even in the bill of trying to commit a suicide and uh, he was caught, the person has forfeited kinship. And that very family where the person hails, you know, from, should forget about anything, kinship, because kinship has gone away finally, completely from that family. It has moved to another family. That's the way it is. And if a king sleeps with an outcast, kingship has automatically left that family or that kindred. So if it's on rotation, once the, once the rotation gets to the end and starts coming back, the rotation will always keep that particular kindred because of that taboo. One of their sons who was once a king committed. So that's the way it's done. It's very interesting. You know, when you have all these things and you are dressed as Igwe, some places they will say, may the king live forever. But if I were the king, if you addressed me in that form, I would tell you, tell me to live long but not to live forever because I don't think living forever is a greeting because nobody lives forever. It's only the almighty God who lives forever. So a mere mortal cannot live forever. So I remember my king, the king of my land will always tell you, I cannot live forever. If you say the king shall live forever, he will always say, no, 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 no. I object to that. Rather say, may you live long. That is just the way a king should be addressed, not living forever. All right, guys. We talk about other things that connect kingship in Igbo land when next we meet. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my videos and share them. Mazibo.com Thank you and have a good night rest. Bye-bye. I love you all. Mm.